If any man teach otherwise, if any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, the word hugai, hugaino in the Greek, wholesome, healthy, healthy, sound, put it back, wholesome words, even, now he explained what he means by wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and the words of our Lord Jesus Christ is the doctrine which is according to godliness. Anybody that avoids teaching Christ, anybody that shies away, that says Christ is too much. A man of God broke my relationship with him. Why? He said you are preaching Jesus too much. That was the end. He said you are preaching Jesus too much. I said, is there anything wrong with that? He said, no, nothing is wrong, but I'm too old to preach it. And he has members, thousands in his church. So I wonder what he's preaching there. Because he is too old to preach Christ. Any church where Christ is not the message is a club. You are hanging out in a club. You're not in a church. What defines a church is not the building design. What defines a church is the content that people are fed. Another man of God told me, if I start preaching Jesus, I'll soon run out of material. I said, because you don't know him. So since you don't know Christ, why don't you resign? Leave those of us who have what to say about him forever. Let us preach. Then you learn from us. Must you preach nonsense? It's a case of the blind leading the blind and all of them will end well in a ditch. And that's when those churches, people are ever learning and they have never arrived at the knowledge of the truth. They keep learning yet they don't know who they are. They are afraid of witches. Any child of God in this church that is afraid of witches is an insult to my teaching. That which has not been born plus the great grandfather. Even if I sleep without praying, it cannot scratch me. That, that, that. And if I see them now, I urinate on them. And they can do nothing. Nonsense. You can't sit under my teaching and be afraid of witches. They are the smallest level in the cadre of demons. They are the smallest. I have dared the devil for decades now. If they burn you well, appear here. Let me sound your face. Bastard. You say you are a child of God. You are born of God. And you are afraid to go to your village. Go and get born again, my friend. You are born again and you are afraid to go to the village. Have you ever seen darkness running from light? Who runs from who? Darkness runs from light. You are the light. How can you be afraid of your village? You should be the one going to the village and they are hiding. Because light has arrived. You are the light of the world. A city set on a hill that cannot be hid. I'm not making mouth. I have confronted them in their different grades. Including a bomb masquerade. I have encountered them. And they bow. I went to Ona. Ona local government to preach. The whole town was quiet. Ah! Why is there nobody in town? He said, today is April day. If you come out, they will march at you. Say, me. <laughs> they never burn them. Me. The lady that came to receive me ran back to the room and told me to run. That if I don't run, Ekpo. I say, me, run. A me, Ekpo. When I have the name of Jesus. I walked to the room. She ran, I walked. Because I didn't understand what she meant. Few minutes as I sat down, they arrived with machete. I macheted the door. The machete cut through the zinc door. I stood up. It is written. Touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. I pulled the door open. I told the man, kneel down. He knelt down. I removed that nonsense. I saw t-shirt with rapper. I said, lift up your two hands, my friend. Shoe get size. Shoe. Shoe. Shoe get size. Kneel down. He knelt down. I said, have you heard about Jesus before? I said, you need Jesus. There's nothing in this nonsense. You need Christ. While he was kneeling down, others went and removed their distance. Fifteen of them came and knelt all of them down. All of them sixteen. I led them to Christ. They got born again. I took them and handed them over to a same of God pastor. I said, start foundation class for them. We had crusade there that day. Everybody came out. Even those that were hiding came out to see Ekpo kneeling down. Do you know what you carry? Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. And this is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. Behold, I give you power. 
to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the devil and nothing shall by hurt you. If you are still afraid, you need to be born again. God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. Shadola Kotama. You have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry. Am I teaching good here? They give you water, they say there's witchcraft. Take it. Drink it. Nonsense. The earth is the Lord. And the fullness thereof. The world and they that dwell therein. There is no portion for witchcraft. Both the witches and everything, they belong to God. God owns the world. Get out of fear. And if you are still in fear, get born again. And if you don't know how to be born again, come for counseling. We're here tomorrow, 9 a.m. Come and meet us. We will sort you out quickly. Flush out the nonsense. Clean you up. Wash your brain. Wash it well. Wash the nonsense. Put light inside. Dabola. Ne kwa twa. Kwa twa twa twa. Zibana. Say I'm born of God. Shout it. Let the devil hear you. Shout it louder. Say it like you know what you're talking about. Say I have the DNA of God. In my inside. God is not afraid. I'm not afraid. As he is. So am I. What cannot fight him. Cannot fight me. What cannot defeat him. Cannot defeat me. I am dead. My life is hid. With Christ in God. I didn't hear powerful amen. When the gospel is preached. Demons and devils go to hide. The reason why people are afraid all over the land is because people have not been taught the gospel. People have only been taught traditional religion. Going to church is a natural family culture. So they don't know why they go. They just go because everybody has to go to church. So they have a form of godliness but denying the power and from such turn away. But you shall receive power after that the holy ghost is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me in jerusalem judea samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth as many as receive him to them gave him to become the sons of god even as many as believe in his name i'm not ashamed of the gospel for it is there of god unto salvation somebody shout power three times two three